Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving a hacker rank easy problem called diagonal difference. The problem statement is, we are given a square matrix. We need to calculate the absolute difference between the sums of its diagonals. For example, in this 3 by 3 matrix, the diagonals are 1, 5, 9 and the other diagonal is 3, 5, 8. And if we add them two together, first will give us 15, the other one would give us 17 and the absolute difference between the two totals is 2. As I mentioned earlier, this is an easy problem and should not take much time to understand and solve it. Looking at this problem in front of us, if I try to rearrange this formula, it would look something like 1 plus 5 plus 9 minus 3 plus 5 plus 8. Not all of these values are available in each list. So if I do a for loop on each of these array in the matrix, I can say that for i is equal to 0, my first value i minus 3. That would be for i is equal to 0. For i is equal to 1, it will become 5 minus 5. And then for i is equal to 2, it would become 9 minus 9. This is going to be my result. Now if you look at each index, there is a particular pattern. Let's try to identify that pattern. If I use one more variable, let's call it j, starting j with 0. If I want to get value 1 and 3, I can do array of i and then array of j minus array of i and then array of array dot length minus 1 minus j so array of i i is 0 j is 0 array of 0 comma 0 which will give me 1 next is array of i which is 0 and then array of length which is 3 minus 1 minus 0 so array of 2 its corresponding value is 3 so I got the two values 1 and 3. So now let's increment our value. With j is equal to 1 and i is equal to 1, I am expecting 5 and 5. So array of i 1 comma 1 which is 5. i is 1. Array of length again is 3 minus 1 minus 1 giving me 1. Again it's pointing to 5. So I got the two values and similarly if I do the same for the last combination I will get that value. Another pattern if you noticed is that this i and j were same. So we don't really need a new variable we just need the same i but use it in a different way. So I'll just get rid of j and then use i. With this solution we can easily solve this problem in O of n com time complexity where n is the length of the array and our space complexity is constant space. As we are not creating any collection to hold the calculations, we just have one variable holding the sum. At the end, all we need to do is math.absolute to get the right value and then return it. Let me show you how this can be solved using C sharp. So here is my C-sharp solution. I have three variables. One is the sum that will hold the result, the index, and the length of the array. Then I start this for each loop. And to calculate or to get the right values from the indexes, I have this item of index, and then I minus item of length minus index. So if my i is equal to zero, I am looking at array of 0 comma 0 and then array of 0 comma 2. Once I calculate this term, I am appending it to the sum and then incrementing my index. After this for each loop is complete, I will have the result in this sum and all I am doing is a math.absolute to get the absolute value and return it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you were able to understand this explanation. This source code is available on my GitHub repository. The link will be there in the description below. Feel free to check that out and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.